Hi, my name is Stevie from Sensorica. I'm documenting here a, an optical tachometer using um, an optical proximity sensor. So this is a proximity sensor and it's put on a, a rotating um, tube and this tube I glued some black tape on it on half of it so as it rotates it goes from dark to metal so that modulates how much light the light detector from the proximity sensor sees so a proximity sensor uh, of this type this is the QRD1114 has um, it has a an LED, an IR LED, so if I take out the power from the Arduino you see it, it turns off and now it turns on so it has uh, an IR LED and an IR detector the camera can actually see the um, the IR light <coughs> so when it's on the dark side it sees less light and when it's on the shiny side of the tube rotating it sees more light so essentially this generates a function a square function as um, it turns so <coughs> this uh, the sensor is plugged into an Arduino board here and the tube is powered by a DC motor that is connected to a power supply so I'm going to turn the power supply on and you can already see the thing rotating so as I am adjusting the voltage here you can make it rotate slowly or at a higher speed okay now I have an oscilloscope here which is connected to the um, signal that comes from the proximity sensor so this is the square function as I diminish the speed you see that the period of rotation diminishes as I increase the speed the period increases so this is the square function that we want to detect with the Arduino board and this is the first prototype I have the Arduino sketch on my computer here and so I'm going to load the sketch into the Arduino board. <coughs> Unfortunately, I have a problem with the communication um, port COM with the Arduino. I'm going to put it back on. That's because I took it out while it was, it was running. And I'm going to connect it back. for Arduino just load the sketch <coughs> there you go <coughs> the sketch is loaded and I'm gonna <coughs> monitor the <coughs> the RPM so every two seconds I have an update of the RPM and if I diminish the speed the RPM diminishes and if I increase the speed the number increases the problem with this code <coughs> is that I'm using a analog read function on a, an analog input pin of the Arduino and I'm time stamping every time I see the signal from the analog read changing to from low to high and then I measure the duration between low uh, between every event a change in signal from low to high and that is the period of rotation and I turn that into RPM using a very simple formula now the signal is pretty stable but if I go a little slower you'll see that it'll tend to fluctuate a little bit so I'm taking measurements every millisecond 
Um, so every millisecond I do a, um, an analog read, essentially. You see, so there, there you go, I have some fluctuations. 2857-2142, so that was, that was uh, something that occurs once in a while using this kind of um, Arduino sketch with analog read and, and time stamping. For time stamping I'm using the, the millisecond function. If I drive it to the highest RPM, it's pretty stable at the highest. But once in a while I get these fluctuations. So I went on the internet and found some um, other projects where people have used optical means to measure RPM. And instead of using an analog read, they use the pin 2 of the Arduino Uno, which is a, an interrupt pin that triggers a function, function and then they measure the time when this function is triggered. And somebody made it run up to 20,000 RPM and it was pretty stable. This one looks pretty stable, but once in a while we have these changes in values um, that are unexplainable that, that the, like the one that just happened now it went from 4,000 to 3,000 and then back to 4,000 and you see now it's 4,200 something <coughs> so <coughs> I will document this um, prototype and I will also publish the code and give you the link in the video below essentially this is uh, the sketch here it's not a very um, large Arduino sketch. So there you go, a DC motor driving a rotating tube with a tape on it and very close to the tube we have a proximity sensor, an IR optical proximity sensor read by an Arduino board and this is essentially the signal that we're getting on the oscilloscope and the DC motor is powered by this power supply stay tuned for the other design the second prototype using the pin 2 of the Arduino board for the intro Thank you very much.